Father. Have mercy. All you have to do is just open up, open up your heart and listen to thus says the Lord through his mighty word. There's nothing hard for it. Nothing hard. Nothing hard. And God cares for everything that concerns you. In the mighty name of Jesus, say may the word go forth. And it comes to that for what you sent it, Father God. As we declare and decree that it will not return empty or void, but it comes to that for what you sent it, Father God. Only you, the great wise God, you know all things, Father God, and you know what needs to happen, Father God, right at this very moment. But we ask for a new thing for today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that precious blood. That precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We just thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We exalt you. Lord God, we lift you up. Father, we extol you. Lord God, you are the author and finisher of our faith. And Lord, we just thank you for your purpose and plans being fulfilled today. We thank you for your will being done in the earth, Lord God, as it already has been done in heaven. Hallelujah, Lord God. We, your people, stand at the portals of this earth and we say, come down, Holy Spirit. We say, come down. We say, you are welcome welcome. You are welcome into this earth, Lord God. You are welcome, Lord God, onto every continent. Lord God, send forth your peace, send forth your presence, send forth your power, send forth your anointing, Lord God. Hallelujah. Send forth, hallelujah, the glory of the Lord as a mighty rushing wind, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we stand between the porch and the altar on this evening, oh God, on behalf of a people, Lord God, that do not know you. We stand Stand proxy, Lord God, for those who are crying out, for those who are hopeless, Lord God. We stand, Lord God, believe in you, Father God. Hallelujah, that you will show yourself strong and mighty in the lives of those that are in despair. Father God, we send forth your peace, Lord God, to arrest that one, Lord God, who's troubled in their mind, that one that's walking in confusion, Lord God. Let them know that you are the hope of glory. Let them have an encounter with Jehovah. Shalom alone, Lord God. You are the God of peace, Lord God. So we pray for peace in the name of Jesus. Father, we're praying, Lord God, on behalf of those who are incarcerated. We're praying, Lord God, hallelujah, that you, God, hallelujah, as your word declares in Isaiah, that the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, will come and visit them, God, that you would mend broken hearts, that you would set those, God, that you would set those who are captive free in the name of Jesus. We're praying, Lord God, hallelujah, for that one that's bound by depression. We're praying, Lord God, hallelujah, glory to God, that they will lift up their heads as gates and be lifted up as everlasting doors, that the king of glory will come in, who is the king of glory, the Lord who is strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. We're saying on tonight to lift up your heads. Hallelujah. Even be lifted up ye everlasting doors in the name of Jesus. We're praying on tonight, God, that you would change the countenance, oh God, of people on tonight. We're praying, oh God, that the eyes of understanding will become enlightened, oh God, that somebody will know what the hope of your glory is, oh God. We're praying on on tonight, Lord God, hallelujah, that as the word of God goes forth, oh God, that you would heal, hallelujah, that you would deliver, God, in the name of Jesus, let healing arise and sickness be scattered on tonight, God, hallelujah, let deliverance arise, Lord God, hallelujah, and imprisonment be scattered on tonight, hallelujah, let love arise on tonight, and hatred be scattered in the name of Jesus, we're praying on tonight, night, Lord God. Hallelujah. That forgiveness will arise, oh God, in the name of Jesus and hatred and resentment, Lord God, that people are harboring in their heart will be scattered in the name of Jesus. We stand in agreement on tonight. We agree, Lord God. We are unified in the realm of the spirit, oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. We are in agreement. We are as one accord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you would have your way. That you would do what you desire to do, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We're praying, oh God. Hallelujah. As, oh God, as your people, oh God. Whom you have called, oh God. Hallelujah. We humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Oh, glory to God. That you will speak, oh God, as you desire to speak through the vessel on this evening, oh God. We're praying that ears are open to hear what the Spirit of the Lord will say on tonight. We come against and we rebuke every critical spirit. We rebuke every judgmental spirit in the name of Jesus. We come against right now every fault-finding spirit in the name of Jesus. And we thank you right now, oh God, that the Word of God will penetrate hearts, oh God, because it is sharper than any two-edged sword. We thank you that your Word will pierce asunder. We thank you that your Word tonight will divide the soul from the spirit. We thank you that your word tonight, God, will cause conviction. We thank you that your word tonight, God, hallelujah, will cause somebody to repent in the name of Jesus and cry out, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. We thank you for a, a, a freeing word. We thank you for, oh God, man, basta. We thank you for a strategic word, a word that is coming with clarity, a word that is coming with instruction. We thank you right now. We thank you for a word, oh God, that's going to, hallelujah, God, lift somebody out of their bound place, their bound state in the name of Jesus. We thank you for a word, a message on tonight, God. Hallelujah. That's going to bring unity, God, in families and marriages where there's division. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for repairing, Lord God. Hallelujah. As you said, God, that we are the repairers of the breach, that we are to build up the old ways places. So we thank you for the message on tonight, the lesson, oh God, that it is going to go. Hallelujah. It's going to take Form. Hallelujah. As a construction worker, God, and it's going to repair hearts. It's going to repair lives, God. Hallelujah. It's going to, oh my God, it's going to build up, God, where there has been compromise. We thank you, Lord God, for closing every breach, Lord God. We thank you for your word sealing every gap tonight in the name of Jesus. We take authority as we are in agreement on tonight that there will be no interferences in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, your word declares that the heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth you have given to the children of men. So we take authority over the airwaves and we rebuke the prince of Persia. We come against right now every assignment. Hallelujah. The word of God will go forth unhindered, unchecked. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There will be no interference in signal. God, we thank you right now that there will be no scrambling in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For those who are on the other end, God, hallelujah, by way of radio or by way of uh, uh, internet, Lord God. God, we just thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We glorify you. We thank you that your word is coming alive on tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that somebody's going to grasp your word. Somebody's going to gravitate to you, God. Hallelujah. And you said, God, as we lift you up, that you will do the drawing. We're lifting you up tonight. We're lifting you, oh God, that you will draw. We're lifting you in this house, oh God, that you will draw. Hallelujah. We thank you for a drawing, oh God, in this community. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, send your presence down Southern Avenue. Send your anointing, oh God, down Whitfield Street. Send your peace down Camden Road, God. Oh God, go all up and down Cumberland Street, God. Cumberland Road, oh God. This entire community, oh God. Send your presence, send your power. We believe you, oh God. We know that you're able to do exceeding abundantly and above all that we're able to ask or think, oh God, because of the power that works in us, oh God. Hallelujah. And because you are not a God that's a respecter of persons, God, we send your healing virtue hallelujah to the hospital in the name of jesus hallelujah we send your oh god your healing bomb you are the bomb of gilead we send you right now to every sick and shut in god we send you right now oh god hallelujah to visit those oh god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah that need you god those who are dealing with an infirmity those who are dealing with a sickness oh god in the name of 
Lord Jesus. You said healing is the children's prayer. So we thank you for healing on tonight. We thank you for supernatural signs and wonders, oh God. We thank you, God, for confounding and confusing doctors, oh God, through miracles, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we call on heaven. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, to give that man, to give that woman, oh God, organs, oh God, that are in the warehouses of heaven, body parts, limbs, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for growing, Lord God, sales, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is missing, whatever is out of order in the body, we say let there be order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the healing, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for saving that young man, that young girl who might be sitting, Lord God, hallelujah, in a trap house, who might be sitting in the liquor house. We're praying for them right now, God. Hallelujah, that you take the taste of alcohol, that you take the taste, oh God, of cigarettes, God. We thank you right now, oh God. Hallelujah. Even for that one that's contemplating suicide, we pray that you arrest them in the realm of the activity right now, oh God. Oh God, arrest the thought, God. Let them know, oh God, that they're fearfully and wonderfully made. Let them know, oh God, that you're thinking good thoughts towards them, that you have plans to prosper them and to bring them to an expected end. We're praying for them on tonight, God. We're praying, God, others who have asked us to call their name, God. Others who have asked us to remember them in prayer. And while we may not know, remember everyone's name, God, we lift them up before you, God. We, oh God, we send your peace. We send your presence to where they are, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. God, let them release their faith to believe, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We praise you right now. Hallelujah what you shall do, for what you have already declared. Oh, God, we thank you for the finished works on tonight, God. We thank you for showing yourself strong and mighty. Hallelujah. In the lives of those who dare to believe you. We dare to believe you. We dare to trust you. We dare, God. Hallelujah. We know that you're able. We know that you're capable. There's nothing too hard for you, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of time, regardless of what it feels like. We stand flat-footed in the face of every enemy, and we declare, hallelujah, that the Lord our God, hallelujah, is able, hallelujah, to do all things. Nothing, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for you, Father. We thank you tonight, hallelujah. We glorify you, we exalt you. When it's all said and done, we will give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Jesus. Father, we lift up now in Jesus' name every single country, every single nation. In the name of Jesus, we lift up the leaders, Father, for your word says when we pray for them, Father, we're able to do what you're calling us to do in peace, Father. We pray that they make wise decisions, Father, that they seek you, Father, that they yield to the spirit and those wise men and women that you have placed around them now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up the United States of America. Father, even in this election season, Father, we counsel in Jesus' name wickedness which tries to come in in the form of division, Father, of violence now in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. We speak to every single state in this United States of America in the name of Jesus, Father. And we call forth a clarion call, God, for your kingdom workers, Father, to rise up in the name of Jesus and continue to be on their job, Father. We speak a spirit of unity amongst your body of Christ right now in the name of Jesus. For there shall be no more isms or schisms in the name of of Jesus. And Father, we glorify you. We magnify you even right now, Father. You lift up every single person, Father, which may be listening and viewing or coming on their way, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for them right now in the name of Jesus, Father, for your word has already decreed as you've spoken to us even on Sunday. The kingdom of God is within us. Father, continue to increase not only our discernment, Father, but our understanding of your word. Not only the understanding of your word. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, but Father, an application of your word in the name of Jesus. For your words, for it is your word that heals, that heals. You said in your word, we can hear the word and be healed. Glory to the Lamb of God. Father, we take you at your word on today. We are enlarging our territory right now. Father, we have un uh -huh, lifted up, Father, the stakes of our tents, Father, and we are stretching them out even more so, Father. Glory to the Lamb of God so that our kingdom influence can increase. Father, we decree and declare that we are wise, Father, because we are winning souls for the kingdom of God. We thank you now for witty ideas and inventions which you are bringing into the body of Christ. For your word says that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for us, the just Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we take it by force. Glory to the Lamb of God. And Father, we appropriate it for the advancement of the kingdom of God. We thank you for giving us ideas and strategy, Father, and which to utilize resources, including people resources, financial resources, favor, God, connections, partnerships, God, the businesses that you have given us, Father, to advance your kingdom, to win souls. And Father, we decree and declare that every day of our life, you will get the glory. And we bow down to you and decree and declare that your glory shall rest in us, around us, and on us, Father, for everything that we touch, it shall prosper. And therefore, we are careful not to touch the unclean thing. Glory to the Lamb of God. We thank you for everywhere the souls of our feet shall tread. You have already given us, Father. So as you are guiding us and directing us, God, Lord, let us seek you for clarity, God. Lord, let us seek you for the purpose of the assignment, Father, and you will, in Jesus' name, endue and endow us, Father, with what we need to be successful in the name of Jesus, and therefore we cancel in the name of Jesus every demonic force, Father, every witch, warlock, called evil confederacy, evil alliance, God, working of black magic, white magic, spells, chants, enchantments, wicca, glory to the Lamb of God, every antichrist spirit, we cancel it now in the name of Jesus, and we command it to go back to hell from whence you came. You said in your word, Father, that demons not only will bow down to you that is in us, Father, but we also given us the authority and stand firm. Stand firm. In your word, Father, we stand firm. Glory to the Lamb of God, for you have not uh, given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And it is we decree now in Jesus' name, let a sound mind prevail, Father, over your people. I counsel now in Jesus' name, the battles in the mind, Father. We curse the very root causes of it right now. Father, even those, glory to the Lamb of God, to which we have attributed to ourselves, Father, open up our spiritual eyes so that we can see what we're doing, so that we can stop it, God, identify it, glory to the Lamb of God, and as you identify it, Father, we will submit, submit to the Spirit, God, glory to the Lamb of God, there is no other God before you. We will lift up only you. Huh? We will lift up only your son, Jesus the Christ, uh, the Messiah, the anointed one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah the one that was slain, uh, who gave his life that we might have life and life more abundantly. And therefore, we bind to us right now the abundant life, Father. We decree and declare that we are not only healed, Father, we are whole in our bodies, Father. We are healthy so that we can fulfill the assignments and the purposes, God, that you have placed in our lives now. I speak to every system. I, I speak to every organ. 
speaking. I speak to every cell, every atom. Now, in the name of Jesus, you will multiply like you are supposed to. You will operate exactly like God originally created. Now, I curse now in Jesus' name. Root causes of hyper and hypo conditions now in the name of Jesus. And Father, as you do your part, hallelujah, we too will do our part. We thank you for the spirit of wisdom, Father, coming upon us right now, Father, for your word says you have blessed us, God. And the fact that you have given us wisdom and knowledge in every single area, and therefore we are, hallelujah, ten times wiser in every subject matter, God, even on our job assignments, our priestly assignments, Father, glory to the Lamb of God, even those things, huh, which we naturally do not have full knowledge about, huh, we call upon the revelation of God, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God, for your word said your Holy Ghost will teach us all things uh, and therefore we submit to the holy spirit's leading guiding and directing father glory to the lamb of god even on this week we thank you for everything uh, that has already transpired and we thank you for those things we will transpire we thank you that we are blessed to be a blessing god glory to the lamb of god father god our lips god our mouths father Father, teach us to study, to be quiet, huh? Teach us when to pray, huh? And when to just say, hallelujah, what to say, Father. For your word says, glory to the Lamb of God. When we open up our mouths, huh? You will feel it, Father, at that time, huh? When we come before, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God, men and women of stature. Glory as you place us in those gates, in those situations, huh? Yet again, when we open up our mouths, Father, the kingdom of God will flow. Hallelujah. We give way to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We will speak what you give us utterance to do. Glory to the Lamb of God. We thank you, Father. Glory to the Lamb of God. We bless you. We magnify you on tonight. Glory to the Lamb of God. The kingdom of God is within us. It's within us, God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Continue to allow us to advance the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. For everywhere you send us we're taking the kingdom huh? we are planting the heavens God we are planting the heavens glory to the Lamb of God in our families huh? in our job assignments huh? in strangers lives who are our brothers and sisters anyway glory to the Lamb of God we thank you Father we cancel in Jesus name every single form of pride huh? arrogance self-righteousness Father and anything any works of this flesh Father which gives gets in the way of us ministering to those that need it, God, that gets in the way of our testimony, that gets in the way of us appropriately representing you. Now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are giving us the resources uh, that we need, not only as a ministry, God, but as individuals, Father. We call for hallelujah. We speak right now in Jesus' name to every purpose, uh, every ministry, and every person that is here, that is listening, that is viewing. In the name of Jesus, we stir it up now. And Father, I touch it now in the spirit realm as your apostle called of Jesus Christ. Glory to the Lamb of God. Come forth. Stir it up, stir it up. Right now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Stir it up. I call it forth right now. In every country, every continent, every village, every home, every workplace right now hallelujah those under the sound of my voice huh, for
for which you are using on tonight. Huh? I speak to the very spirit and I command you to arise. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Father, you are giving us, hallelujah, another opportunity, hallelujah, to make your name known. Glory to the Lamb of God. And Father, we will not waste time, Father. Glory to the Lamb of God. We call for good stewardship, God, of our time, huh? not just the resources, but of our time. Glory to the Lamb of God, the anointing huh? that you place in our lives, God. Teach us the faculties of it, God. Hallelujah. Not just the operational aspects, God. Huh? We thank you for the for the integral aspects coming forth like never before. Glory to the Lamb of God. And I call for a boldness right now, God, to your people. Glory to the Lamb of God. As you are hot to see to as you send people our way, Father, whether we're in the byways, the highways, God, whether we're here or there, hallelujah, that you will give us the instructions that we need to share. We thank you, God. Teach your people even more so how to simply minister to people, God. We thank you right now, how to simply minister to people huh, right where they are in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare. Claire, hallelujah, that as we do so, it will always be followed by miracles, signs, and wonders. Glory to the Lamb of God, hallelujah. And lastly, we decree and declare now in Jesus' name, Father, that the angels which you have given us, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God, has said to Tokoya to assist us on our way, Father, we command them now in the name of Jesus, go forth to those individuals whom we have prayed for, even those that we have not now glory to the land of god we send them forth now in the city of fedville in the state of north carolina huh? in the neighborhoods that we are in now huh? where our loved ones are in the name of jesus glory to the lamb of god we take authority over those atmospheres right now in the name of jesus and father hallelujah glory to the lamb of God, we claim it for the kingdom of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. We connect in the spirit, God, with our brothers and sisters around the world. Uh, glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to the Lamb of God. Stir up the gifts. I hear it again. Stir up the gifts. Glory to the Lamb of God. I call forth now uh, in the name of Jesus that there will be an increase in anointing. Uh, there will be an increase. Uh, and the flowing of the giftings and anointings huh, that you have given to your sons and daughters. Huh. Glory to the Lamb of God. Their purposes now will become even more clearer. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. For the Holy Spirit, God, his son has need of you. Glory to the Lamb of God, and we call you forth, sons and daughters of Zion. Arise right now. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for an upgrade in the spiritual revelation realm. Huh? We thank you for the upgrade. Oh, in our understanding. Glory to the Lamb of God. Huh? And we take authority right now huh? over any of our personal emotions and feelings huh? which try to get in the way of what you are doing spiritually. Glory to the Lamb of God. We are minding the things of the Spirit. And therefore, we are going to walk in those things, Father. Glory to the Lamb of God. We will not. We will not react in this flesh, Father, but we will respond in the Spirit, Father.
Father. Glory to the Lamb of God, Hashiah, for your word says that with you all things are possible. Glory to the Lamb of God, and Father, we are enjoined on tonight, for your word says where there are two or three gathered, ha, where there are two in the midst, glory to the Lamb of God, you are there. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. We magnify you right now, Father. You have your way on tonight, Father. Glory to the Lamb of God. We bless you. We magnify you right now. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, how we honor you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for your spirit that's in the midst. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for you crowned us with your glory. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that you're concerned about us, God. I thank you, Lord, for the wholeness. We speak wholeness over your people, God. Oh, God, we thank you for being our warrior in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for coming to our defense in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for being our healer, God. Oh, we thank you, Lord, all of our yeah, for healing our bodies. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah. That our bodies are made whole in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that our mind is stayed on you, God. We thank you, Lord, that our mind is regulated. Our mind is renewed. Our mind is transformed. I thank you, Lord, for your very breath that has breathed over our minds in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for our hearts that they are clean and contrite before you, God. I thank you. Lord Jesus, that we have a heart of flesh, God, and in his stone is being removed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that we can rebuke stubbornness in the name of Jesus, and we can call forth the flesh in the name of Jesus. We can call forth in the name of Jesus, compassion in their hearts, God. I thank you, Father, all of our CAA that you're changing the hearts of your people, that they have a heart for you, God, that they have a heart, ah, yeah, they have a heart to trust you, God. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, God, for removing um, any callous, all of our, yeah, that may be on their hearts, God. Oh, hallelujah. Remove it totally. In the name of Jesus, wipe it clean, make it new, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that our heart can be the very heartbeat, God, that we can have the heart of God, hallelujah. Oh, God, help us to love with your heart on the inside of us, God. Oh, God, help us, God, to love each other and have the agape love in the name name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you said your love covers a multitude of sin. I thank you, Lord, for the love that we have for our brother and sister, or that we can be a brother's keeper. We can be a sister's keeper. I thank you, Lord, that every weight that your people may carry in the name of Jesus is being loosed in the name of Jesus, for they will give their burdens to you. You said you will bear our burdens in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for releasing their thoughts, releasing their mind of stigma in the name of Jesus. Oh, anything Thing, to try to weigh them down. I thank you, God, that the cloud has been removed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for putting assurance in the hearts, God. I thank you, God, for putting confidence in their being, God. 
God to know that they can be strong in you in the name of Jesus, that they're not defeated in the name of Jesus. If they just call on your name, anything that's going on around them, within them, has to bow in the name of Jesus. If they don't have strength, uh, to do anything else, God. Uh, give them the strength uh, to call on the name of Jesus. Hey, da, 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 da. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for breaking them from chains of bondage, God. We thank you, God, for setting them free. We thank you, God, that they will not be bound any longer, God. We thank you, God, that this is their new day. Hallelujah. You have made room. You've given the space of time of repentance in the name of Jesus. They would turn. They'll do a complete turn in the name of Jesus. I thank God, that the spirit of wickedness is no longer attached to them in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that the curses have failed, the spells have failed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that you're filling their minds, you're filling their hearts. Uh, with purity. Uh, I thank you, Lord, uh, for forgetting uh, the, 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 the old things uh, and thinking about uh, the new, uh, what you're going to do for them, God. Uh, I thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, that the darkness is uh, not making them confused uh, because your light has come in uh, and shined over them like never before. Uh, I thank God, that you bring in laborers in their life. You're bringing men and women, uh, sons and daughters of God, to whisper, uh, to say the right thing, God. I thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the discernment and the unction of the Spirit uh, that your children uh, are obedient uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, when you tell us to go speak a word, hallelujah. Will you tell us to go pray? Hallelujah. I pray, God, that we will always be on assignment when it comes to you, that everything we do will be unto you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that in this season you're giving us the strength that we will, we will have your spirit, God, that we will have your power, we will have your might. God, that we can overcome, God, let us speak to the mountain, and it will be moved, God, we can have unstoppable faith, we can have crazy faith in the name of Jesus, we can see what the world don't see, hallelujah, we can speak healing when it's not there, I thank you, God, oh, hallelujah, we can speak in the name of there's somebody, hallelujah, is no longer in a broken state. They're no longer addicted to drugs, even though it's apparent that they're in that situation. That we can speak life in the midst of death, hallelujah. And because we confronted that spirit with the authority of Jesus Christ, that it has to bow. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you have built this up. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for the honor that you gave us, God. You gave us honor to be fully equipped in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that when you wake up, you are on our mind, God. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. That your will will be done in each one of our lives, God that we will live and not die, that we will declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you put enough fight in us, that we can fight for others. We can be co-laborers. We can be co-laborers. That we might not be in the same place at the same time. 
time because of your spirit. There's no separation in the name of Jesus. Yes, I thank the Lord, the people that's in the social media or on the other platforms because of that spirit. They're right here with us. They're interceding with us. We're united in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. That we can so speak in the name of Jesus. I thank the Lord Jesus. I love our call of my day. Instead of doubt, I love our call of my It's been rebuked in the name of Jesus. That we can give what we have, which you gave us, God. That we can give, hallelujah, as a seed, as a portion, hallelujah. I thank you, God, that you multiply everything that we touch, God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There's no limits when it comes to you, God. Oh, holy God. Oh, mighty God. Be mighty in our lives. Like in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your saving grace, God, for saving your people. In the name of Jesus. We honor you, God. We usher in salvation here on this earth like never before, God. Save your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us the right words. Give us the wisdom, God. Use us in your spirit, God. In Jesus' name. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you now for the word of the peace tonight, Father. Father, I stand in the name of prayers and all that's for us tonight, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, you move swiftly, Father. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to you. Thank you, shepherds of this house, for the opportunity to stand before you again and share some more of what of the revelation that I'm receiving. Of the revelation that I'm receiving that's taking me to new higher elevations in the Lord. So, Father, I thank you now for this opportunity as we continue to share the word that. The kingdom of God is within me. Yeah. <clears throat> On Sunday, we talked about how the kingdom of God is, is within us and what we can do to help lead our family members, our friends to get that understanding to know that the kingdom of God is in them also. <clears throat> but tonight I want to I want to thank Apostle Jones and, and uh, Dr. Misha Jones also for another opportunity. And I'm excited about what the Lord revealed to me today with it with just how powerful that the kingdom within you is. And knowing that the kingdom is, is, is within you. We learn in Revelation 3.20, which is our foundation of scripture, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in into him and will sup with him and he with me. Sunday we learn that we must choose wisely which we must choose wisely which kingdom we will serve. On Sunday we learn that there are two kingdoms operating on the earth. And it, as, as uh, 
earthly beings, we must choose wisely which kingdom we're going to serve, either the kingdom of light or the kingdom of darkness. We learn that new goals will require a new mind. And most importantly, we learn what Jeremiah once says about us. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, this scripture is telling us that the kingdom of God is with, within us. But this kingdom is, this principle is telling us that the, we had a place at the table before we were even born. We were royalty before birth. We were ordained royalty before birth. We had a place to sit with the most high before even birth. We learned also Sunday that there's, there's compromises in our lives that we may be accepting or tolerating that that's keeping us from being a kingdom person or, or, or kingdom minded person. <clears throat> we, we learned that uh, our compromises are celebrated. And most of us have been guilty of these compromise uh, things. We've uh, we've tolerated iniquities. We've helped fabricate filthiness also. We learn over in the book of Isaiah, in 59, uh, chapter 59, verses 2 through 4, it told us that the iniquities we have in our lives, that's what's keeping us from moving and thinking like royals or royalty. So I want to talk tonight about the revelation I received from a conversation Sunday afternoon is, is God has a funny way of doing things, and I love how he does it. Uh, my wife is having a conversation with my sister, and uh, my sister told her that she doesn't want to be she doesn't want to be called by her nickname anymore. And if you think about it, most of us, most of us have a nickname or has gotten a nickname, but it's not the name that God knows us as. It's the name. It's the name that man knows us as, and man calls us. This name that's not a royal name. It's, it's, it's a good family name. Some of them are funny, but it's not what God sees us as. Tonight, I want us to continue learning how the kingdom of God is in all of us, renewing our minds to the place we're supposed to be. So my question tonight, family, have you ever wondered what God sees you as? Due to, due to most of us not walking in our royal position, what would he call you if you were to talk to him? What would he what would he call you as? What would he call you by your earthly given name or would he call you by your kingdom name? Am I a member of the kingdom? We try to lead God, and direct our families, friends, and neighbors, pretty much anybody who will listen. We want to let them know about this kingdom that we're part of. That I, I found my place in a kingdom where he says. I can be what I want to be. All I have to do is speak to it. It can come to pass. I have the ability to heal. I have the ability to walk on water if, because of the kingdom that's within me. Hebrews 11.3 teaches us that through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So I was listening to, thinking about the conversation my wife told me she had with my sister, and she wanted to be called by not her nickname anymore, but her her real name. She wanted to be known as, as her name is Andrea. She wanted to be known as Andrea now. Don't call her by her nickname. And that really resonated with me because who, who am I to God? I asked myself, who am I to God? Who am I answering to? Am I answering to a nickname or am I answering to what God called me to be? My kingdom name. There's a story of a man in the Bible over in the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 11 through 15, who, because of his stature in life or who he was in the family, he didn't know his kingdom name at the time. But, but I love what the Lord did when, when he finally showed us, spoke his kingdom name to him and, and get him to understand that you have the kingdom inside of you. Over in the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 11, it reads, And there came an angel of the Lord and sat on an oak, oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Joash the Bizarite, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thy mighty man of valor. 
And Gideon said unto him, this is, this is most of us. When the Lord walk up to you and tell you your kingdom name, you're going to question him also. We've had even people speak things into us, but yet we want to question it because we're, we're reminded of what not being kingdom minded. We're, we're reminded of what's right in front of us. But remember what Hebrews 11.3 said, God's words frame the world. So our words will frame our world also. Verse 13, and Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen, befallen us? And where be all his miracles, which were our fathers told us of, saying, did not the Lord bring us up, up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. 14, and the Lord looked upon him and said, go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee, you mighty man of valor, have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. That that was not the kingdom name God just told him. He says, I'm the least in my father's house, but his kingdom name is mighty man of valor. In the kingdom, he was seen as mighty. God saw him as mighty, not the least in his house. This is where we have to learn that we are kingdom. We have kingdom names, kingdom responsibilities, kingdom powers in the kingdom of God. But the world that we live in teaches us defeated names, unkingdom-like names, that this man questioned that he was a mighty man of valor. Now, valor is honor and dignity. Are those not two words that you could des describe royalty by? Or someone who is part of a kingdom? Remember in the book of Genesis, God said man should have dominion over the earth. Is dominion not? You, you're in charge of everything. This is your kingdom. You are a king from the beginning of creation. You have dominion over it. Even though God spoke this promotion to Gideon, if you go and study this for yourself, you'll learn that Gideon still lacked the vision to see the kingdom of God in himself. And most of us, we're guilty of, we're guilty of this also. You get kingdom things spoke to you through the Lord. The Lord reaches out. We, we open ourselves up. We come to the altar lay ourselves down on the altar, we have that encounter with Christ, but then we're reminded of the earthly nicknames or the unkingdom nicknames that people have given us, and we don't have the strength or the, or the mindset to know that I am a member of this kingdom. And what we do, the same thing, we'll do the same thing Gideon did. If God brings, comes to you and talks to you, He's got to prove himself to you, prove who he is to you, O mighty man of valor. If I'm this mighty man of valor, Gideon says, if you study, go and study the judges, he says, he gives God a test. Who are we to test God? Keep the fleece dry when the morning dew falls, but wet the earth. We would test God the same way. Well, if I'm, if I'm this mighty man of God, if I'm this mighty person in the kingdom, do this for me, Lord. Prove, prove this to me. Who are we to test God? And he tests God again. God, the dew fell, the fleece was dry. One more test. I need, I need again. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure that I'm still the king. You say I am. This kingdom you're talking to me about is still not in me. I don't believe it. One more test. Keep the fleece dry, wet the ground. The next test. Wet the fleece, keep the ground, the ground dry. Now, if we really look at it, if God calls you by your kingdom name and it's different from your earthly name, then we all answer to our Adamic name, which is a fallen name. And this had me so excited today when, when this revelation hit me today. It took me to a new elevation. That Adamic name is a fallen name that we have because... When we study the word, Genesis 3, 22, 
And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now at least he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. This is this is at the moment of the fall. And the next the, the, the book of Genesis tells us God kicked them out of the garden because of the wisdom they just received. They became godlike. They became godlike. Now, the Bible says this Genesis 5, 3. And Adam lived 130 years. And begot his son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. We're going to stop it after his image. You remember over God told, let us make man in our image. A holy spirit filled image. After the fall, now Adam has this wisdom. He creates a son in his image, which is what? A fallen image. Giving his son a fallen name a non-kingdom name because he because of the fall he has lost all of his his authority he was kicked out of god his dominion was snatched from him but yet he says here the genesis 3 says that he he begot a son in his own likeness after his image like like him most of us have difficulty seeing the ruler of the kingdom work in us so I thought about this scripture when I read this today. Because Adam now has made a son in his own likeness. This, this shook me. Mary had to have Jesus through the Holy Spirit because every man was of a fallen spirit. Jesus couldn't have come through a natural man because this is fallen until I get my place back in the kingdom. The spirit had to be the father of Jesus. The man could not have been his. He could, how could a fallen save the world when he's fallen himself? The seed of the fallen can't save the world. It has to be the, the Holy Spirit had to be his father. When that revelation hit me today, like, oh, my God. That's very powerful. There. She had to have the baby from the Holy Spirit. Jesus had to come through the Holy Spirit because of Adam's fall. Because here it says in Genesis 5.3. He made his a son his own likeness, like God did, after his image. He was doing what but the fallen man was doing the same thing God did when he created Adam and Eve. Now he's making a man in his image. That's not the image that God wanted us to be. This is a fallen image. So we all walk around. Please don't get upset. We walk around. If you name after your mom, your daddy, whatever. It's the name of a, you are walking in the name of a fallen image. Until you get your kingdom position, this is the name, this, we carry the name of the fallen image. Is my name Bartholomew to God? I don't know. My mama named me that. Will I answer what he calls me? He called Gideon, Almighty man of valor. Not Gideon. Because Gideon only saw himself as the least of them. Not a mighty man. God comes to speak edification to us. A kingdom people are full of power, full of valor, full of honor, dignity. They don't see themselves as the least or less than. They see themselves better than. Most of us have a difficulty seeing the ruler or the kingdom at work in us. We have a problem with that. That's why it's so hard to reach people that we love and we try to convince them you talk to them and i need you to see what's in you but because of as my sister said the nicknames that we've been given it's hard to step away from that image like gideon had of the fallen less than and it, like, it was so powerful i don't want to go by my nickname i'm going by my godly name my kingdom name my royal name because Adam created a man in his own image after the fall. So he had lost the grace of the Lord. So I wonder, Dr. Jones and, and, and the Joneses have been teaching the word for years, and, and, and I'm standing for a night teaching the word, but have you ever thought, could it be so easy to sit down and tell somebody, do you know you have a place in the kingdom? Do you know God has this for you? And they don't believe you. 
I, I want to encounter people the way these two men that, that were following John John the Baptist, and this is this is very powerful also. It was two brothers. I call it these two brothers, but they were two of John the Baptist's disciples. We are disciples of our leaders, and they tell you something, and you you buy off on it like that. This is found in John 1, 34 through 37. John says, And I saw and bear a record that this is the Son of God. Again, the next day after John stood and two of his disciples. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus. Could it be that easy for us to reach our family and friends and, and the co-workers and say, hey, you, you're in the kingdom. You understand you have a kingdom name, you understand this? And you just tell them, behold the Lamb of God, and they just follow that easily? That, that was so powerful right there. Just They, they already knew that they, Jesus was the Lamb. They, they had followed John for so long and studied under him and believed every word he said. And the two disciples, they just followed. They left John. They just followed Jesus. No questions asked. The Bible says they just follow Jesus. I want some of this kingdom. I want what the lamb has. I want my name to be written in the lamb's book. Having a kingdom at work in us is hard to go unnoticed. It's, it's very hard to go unnoticed when you're kingdom minded moving in the kingdom, doing things of the kingdom, people notice it. The flies are drawn to the light. With the people we tell that we believe in the Lamb of God, is this the key for them to receive their invite to get back to the kingdom position? We got to remember God took a prisoner, Joseph, and made him prime minister when he gave him his kingdom name, his kingdom dream, his kingdom vision, his kingdom garments. There was nothing but increase. There was nothing but increase in the kingdom. Because he was the least of his brothers also, and God, he started seeing kingdom things, beginning to get his kingdom mind set, his brothers got nervous. And what happened? The, the Bible teaches us that they, they threw him in the pit, he ended up getting sold into slavery. But the kingdom was still in him. And he walked in the kingdom. He did kingdom things. And, and the Lord blessed him to be basically the ruler of the country without wearing that title. Matthew 13, 44 reads, just as Jesus talking about the kingdom of God, he says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field. That which when a man hath found, he hideth. And for joy there, thereof, Goeth and selleth all that he have and buyeth that field. That's the, is, is that saying that we should, because it's so good to us being in the kingdom, so good, we should we should sell it, go buy the land back because we that excited and we just keep looking for it because I want more of the kingdom. I want more of the kingdom. We should search it out. We bury it and, and we go search it out again. I want I want more of this kingdom. I'm gonna bear what I already got. Sell the land, come back and buy the land again because now I'm looking for treasure. I'm looking for more of the treasure that the kingdom has. After our encounter with the Lord, we should be like this. We should search diligently for more of the kingdom. We should search more diligently for our name in the kingdom. We should stop being like Gideon who see ourselves as less than and start seeing ourselves as men of valor, women of valor, people of valor mighty through the Lord, royalty in the Lord. Jeremiah 1, 5 says we had a place at the dinner table before we were born. We were sitting with the king before we were born. All because of the fall, we lost that kingdom. Now we're working to get back to that place that God intended for us to be, a royal. Not just a royal family that's, that's overseas that gets all the press, but we all are kingdom people. We have the search for the kingdom in us. See, Jesus said he will be within us if we're in him. How do I learn my kingdom name? By reading the word, being transformed to what the word says I am, conforming to that kingdom name, 
in that royal position that the Lord has promised me. We must, we must take the things of Isaiah 59 too, the iniquities, the compromises, the filthy lucre that's keeping us from walking our kingdom position and cast those things behind us and walk toward the Lord, the kingdom of light. <laughs> so after, after an encounter with Jesus, we should be fired up. We should be kingdom minded. We should be telling everyone about this God we serve, inviting people to come eat at the come sup at the dinner table with him so he can sup with them. We should be willing to sell everything and buy it all again, because in his kingdom, everything is good. Thank you tonight, family. In Jesus name. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Aunt, for that word. Amen. Amen. I see some interesting eyes. So we're going to take some time. Come on back up. I think we have some, some feedback. We want to uh, some questions. Just for those that are listening. Amen. Q&A. I like class participation. This is this is this is TNT. This it's it's class participation. This it makes it flow easy because it because we all grow into it. Yes, ma'am. Amen, amen. It, it did, sis. It hit me different, too. It's like, oh. Yes, yes. I was walking on, as they say today at work, I was walking on to say air. I, it's like it was different. And I wanted to tell somebody, do you understand what's going on? Do you understand what happened? And, and it's so powerful. You, what you're telling the truth is, is this the name that God sees me as? I'm walking in a fallen name because, because of what Adam did. Because he, he had the power to go create a son in his own likeness as God did and image. So that's, that's the difference between the spirit man and the earth, the flesh or the carnal man. The carnal man is the Adamic. I damn it. How do you say that? The, 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 the Adam man, but the spirit man is what we're supposed to be walking in. And if you notice, it's, it's easier to walk in the man like Adam. It's so easy to walk like that. The spirit man requires dying to me and learning my kingdom name. And yes, very good, sis. Very good. Any anything else? Now the first one you said, could you repeat that one, please? In case somebody didn't hear it. Right. Right.
the 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 battle between the the, the fleshly man and the spirit man. I think that's that's where the, the ruckus is that because of the fall, or we still carrying that that Adam egg name, we we don't we don't know where we're supposed to be yet. The spirit man is in, inside of us, wanting to be changed, wanting to be pulled out. But that name that we so used to going by, like I said, Gideon was so used to being known as the little brother. We assume because he was less. He, the Bible says he was less than the rest. He was just known. Oh, that's just that's just our little brother. He, you know, basically he's nobody. But then God says, "I see you, you mighty man of valor." Does He see me as a mighty man of valor? Does He see you all as mighty people of valor? What 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 is your name? You know, what is what is our kingdom name? Should we be seeking our kingdom name? We instead we seek more notoriety of this worldly name. Than, than the kingdom name. We seek the fallen. The fallen name gets so much press. We see it all the time. The fallen name. Oh, this person, this person, da 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 da. But, but we're, the fallen is more celebrated than the kingdom name. So it, the, the struggle comes from because we're fed more of the carnal name than the spirit, the kingdom name. I think that could be the struggle because we put everything in front of the kingdom name. Because then you hear things that because you want to walk in the kingdom, want to be a part of the kingdom, it's trying to get others to understand. Why am I changing? Because I want the king in me to come out. You always hear this. He's a king. She's a queen. Well, OK. How? Explain that to me. I want to know more. Explain your kingdom to me. What are you king of? Explain that to me. So that's I'm I'm, I'm learning more that as as I study the word and, and the Lord is revealing. I'm, I'm I'm getting new elevation because of the revelation. I I I want more, and and I'm I'm want to study more and I want to grow more and I want to be able to share the word. I want to pull others to the kingdom. Who wants to leave their loved ones behind? You want them to get part of this kingdom too, because if we're all in the same kingdom, there's no animosity, there's no jealousy, there's no envy. Because because we're neighbors, we're, we're growing together. You know, we, we we come together like like you see the the kingdoms did in the in the movies. Whether this king came to visit that king, this king came to visit that king. How is it if I'm walking in my kingdom name that God will answer one king to another, right? If if I'm a king and I know my kingdom place, I can ask this king, can we work this out? And then this king is going to answer my prayers, one king to another, right? If I'm in the kingdom, if I'm conditional, if I'm in the kingdom. So I, I just I'm, I'm I'm learning and I'm loving this. I love, like I said, I love the conversation they had. Thank you for the for asking me to add on to this. So I had to dig a little deeper, um, and I didn't mind digging deeper. Um, but the conversation, I don't want to go by my nickname anymore. I want to go by what God calls me. You know, so that was, uh, I, I, I thank her later for this too. Um, so, any other questions, man? Any? Yes. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Royal priesthood.
Come on. Right. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. So, so she says so much. I uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hit some things because it was so many nuggets. But what first thing came to me was the, the Adamaic man over in the book of Ezekiel 30, 26 verse, God says, I will remove the stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. So my kingdom man has a fleshly heart. The Adamaic man has a stony heart. That's why people can't understand when you start walking in the kingdom, why he's so peaceful? You don't you don't raise up about things. This 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 is the this is the revelation I got today. I had exciting lunch today sitting in my truck, y'all, with some shouting going. I just the, the 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 stony heart left me. The things that used to bother me don't bother me anymore. That 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 Adamaic man is dead because I'm seeking a spot. I want to sit at the round table because I am a royal. And, and and you 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 hit it on the head. You you got it. You got it. this is this is what the Lord wanted us to get out of this. That the kingdom is in me. The problem is because of Adam's and Eve's fall, I got to go back and find my place in the kingdom. And it means I got to change my name to the name He wants me to have because the name I wear now is the the fallen man's name. I I am a. a, a offspring of that seed he created in God's likeness. I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about nobody else, so please don't get offended. Don't contact Dr. Jones. I'm talking about me, but 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 I want y'all to get it, those watching on TV, here on radio. Adam created a seed from a fallen state. Seth was created from a fallen man. God created us from a spiritual perspective. Remember what I said? Jesus couldn't come from a man. He had to come from the Holy Spirit because man was what? Fallen. You ever got anything good from something bad? You can't. You can't. So, so I'm learning as I seek to become more of a kingdom man, my name has to change. As, 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 as Sister Ben said, I want to I want to know what God calls me. I want to be who he said I'm supposed to be. I want to answer the way he calls me. How do we know he said Moses when Moses was up on the mount? Did, did he call Moses Moses or did he call him by? Did he call him deliverer? Did he say deliverer? You know, he told Gideon, you mighty man of valor. He spoke life into them. Our God speaks life into us. Edif words of edification. He builds you up. He's speaking power into you, not, not tearing you down. He's not going to walk up to you less than. No, he said, look, mighty man of valor, go free my people. And the first thing Gideon did, most of us do, well, I don't know, Lord. That's a, that's a mighty task you gave me right there. Are you sure? Didn't Moses do the same thing? He said, he said Lord, but I don't, I, I, I just, just, just stutter a little bit. Don't worry about it. I got it worked out. God said, I got it worked out. That's the kingdom. I got a backup plan. That's the kingdom. So that's that's what he wants. To, I'm learning he wants us to be kingdom minded because in the kingdom, there's always going to be help. He's always going to have help. It's always going to be help. That's what the kingdom works. It's more than one. How can you be a king if you're the only one there? He owns everything. 
So I, I, I really enjoyed this. Once again, sis, I thank you for, for making me dig deep into this. I want to dig a little deeper because I never really looked at that. He made a son his, in his likeness and his image also, but from a fallen state. From a fallen state. To the point that even God said because of the, they, they ate the, of the fruit that they will know so much now. Get out of the garden. Because you're going to learn too much. You just stepped into a godly position, but, but you, you did it from the kingdom of darkness perspective, not from the kingdom of light. So any, 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 any hit, hit me with something else. So uh, you got anything, sis? We'll get you the microphone. We'll get you the microphone, sis. Please wait. <clears throat> so, the, so the people viewing can hear it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Put a little substance to it, huh? Gave him some ham. <laughs> yes. 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 Come on. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 The encounter. Yes, the encounter. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm I'm glad I'm glad y'all I'm glad Lord thank you for using me to help share this word. Think about think about the woman with the issue of blood. Her name became virtue. He's, he he said he said virtue just left me. Didn't he say that? As a woman but after she after she stepped over into the kingdom, he Jesus himself said, "Virtue, where did you go? Come on, that's Lord. Thank you, Lord. Paul became Saul because they stepped into that kingdom name. So my question tonight to the viewers and and everybody on the sound of my voice, we need to start seeking God for our kingdom name. And it might not be the name. See, we so used to the Adam Meg name. Because Gideon wasn't called Gideon in the eyes of the Lord. He was called mighty man of valor. The woman was called virtue. Paul became Saul. 
Jacob became Israel. You see, what is my kingdom name? That's what we're seeking after. That's what we're seeking after. Our kingdom name for that kingdom glory for a place at the royal dinner table. Mm, mm, mm. This is this is good to me, y'all. This is, oh my God, this is good to me. I'm telling y'all, I, I had I had me a lunch today, and I and I whenever I, whenever I bring the word, I consecrate myself. I do. I I, I didn't eat. Read my word, going over my my message. Some things I said during you know how you're going over, but it didn't but it didn't come out during the teaching. But 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 you all got it. Because you read, oh yeah, I can say this, I can say this, Lord, Lord, give me things. He even gave me a few scriptures that I've covered tonight. I'm seeking my kingdom name. I'm seeking my kingdom name. I'm seeking my kingdom name. Don't call me that anymore. Don't call me by my nickname. I'm not that. Why don't, why don't you answer me? That's not me. The Bible says old things are passed away. Come on. You can call me anything you want to, but if you're not speaking the name God called me, don't get mad if I don't answer. I call you, but you don't answer. I'm blowing your phone up, but you're not calling the name that I have now. My name is forgiven. My name is blessed. My name is healer. I have the same authority he has if I trust and believe in his word because he is in me. And I thank you, Lord. You got something else, sis? Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's your kingdom name. That's right. That's your kingdom name. That's your kingdom name. I am. I am. Yes. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm thankful. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, that's 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 that means it's, that means the Lord is in the midst. Amen. 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 Uh, absolutely. But but remember, it's 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 envy, envy is what yes, but envy caused the first murder in the Bible. But but this just this just was downloading my spirit. The Bible says that God took made Adam from the dust of the earth, right? So we hear about the dust again, and then he tells Satan that you're gonna you're gonna have your way with the dust of the earth, meaning that what fleshly man, right? Later on, we hear about dust again. When Jesus tells the twelve, he said, "When you go share my news, don't even bring the dust behind you. Don't bring them fleshly people behind you." So those that want us don't want to acknowledge your call, don't leave the dust behind. Leave the dust behind. That's that's the revelation I'm getting. So you're either going to move with me or without me. But please take one step back because this bus is moving. This bus is moving. This bus is moving. Because, because when, when my name changes, a lot about me has to change. I, it has to. It, it has to. We we say you know there's old was well, old song must be the money address gonna change da 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 no no my address is changing inside 
because what's happening on the inside of me is not going to go where the old me used to go. The Adam Egg man is dying. I'm, I'm pushing him aside. He's dead. The spirit man, the kingdom man is coming out. Kingdom living is what we want. It's not about being blessed and owning things, but no, the man that God created me to be, the kingdom man is coming out. The kingdom man is what God wants to talk to. He don't want to talk to the Adam egg man. He wants to speak to the, to the kingdom man. Not many peasants, even in the movies, not many peasants make it and have a conversation with the king. You got to go through too many people. You got to go through too many people to get to the top. But if I'm a king, if I'm a king, I could I could sit down and reason with him because we sit at the same table and we're breaking bread together. Kings talking to kings. He is, of course, the rule of all. But I have the right to talk with him because Jesus came and opened that door for me. Lord, this is powerful. This is powerful. Any any more comments before I give the microphone back to Dr. Jones? <laughs> uh, thank you all for letting me share. Uh, like I told Dr. Jones Sunday, I just want to talk. I just want the opportunity to talk. I, I want to tell about the kingdom. I want to tell you all what he's done for me. I can tell you what he's done. My, my wife, first person witness to tell y'all what he's done. Sometimes we ask for change in people, but then when the Lord start changing them, you better be careful what you're asking for. Because he's coming at you from a kingdom mindset now. She's coming from a kingdom mindset now. No, we don't do that anymore. We, 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 we walk in this way now. You know, so, but when, then when we walk in the spirit of a greed, the spirit of a greed, look how strong our kingdom is. Because we walk in this in the spirit of a greed. And that's what God wants to walk in, agreed with what he said about us. And in his infinite wisdom, the Lord created a plan to get us back to our rightful place. The, the Bible, the Bible is, is amazing. You sit there and you start studying and see all the way to the to the book of Ruth. She was David's what great, 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 so many great grandmothers. Look at the plan God had to get us back to the kingdom. And David was Jesus's granddaddy. <laughs> look at look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, he to get us back in our rightful place after the fall, he created this plan for us to get in our rightful place, to walk as kings, to be a part of the kingdom. So, Lord, we thank you for your word. It is your word that transforms us. It is your word that conforms us into the image you desire to see, the image of royalty in your kingdom. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 old song i'm coming out come on that's what he told us right it's time to come out who who are you who are you you, you all remember an old um commercial uh uh program that they had and it was where's waldo where's waldo you're looking for him and he described that where where are you some people look and look and look take the time to sit down somewhere seek the lord Get in a good Bible teaching, scriptural teaching, faith believing ministry, and you will, they will help you find it. But you're going to have to do something. And he told us on Sunday as well, we have to do something. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. This was powerful. This was powerful. Amen. I heard that back there and I said, that is it. That is it. But well, we bless God. Amen. For everyone that is here that was listening, this was just powerful. Amen. 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 Glory to the Lamb of God. Before we let you go, don't go if you're online. Are there any praise reports? Amen. If you could just look and see in, on uh, the chat if there are any praise reports. Amen. Any praise reports? 
Amen. We thank God. And you know it's something in a name. Glory. Remember when when um, they they were asking, <coughs> excuse me, Pilate and some of the other ones are asking, look, now you say, they say you're, you know, Jesus, you're this, this king of them. Who do you, he says, who do you say I am? <laughs> because guess what? He had an assurance. He said, I already know. And you spoke that when she had that question. Amen. When you know who you are in the Lord, it's not up even up for question. It's not up for debate. At the very, at, not at the very least, I won't even say that. I am a child of God. Mother Heart said, I'm a child of God. That's what you need to know. Because there's going to be fruit in my life. Come on, there's going to be some results. You're going to hear it. You're going to see it. Glory to the Lamb of God. And that's going to let you know who I am in the Lord. That's powerful because if people grab that revelation and this, you're going to have to walk in it over time because you're learning more and more about yourself through God, who God has created you to be. Like uh, 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 Interlect Bennett said, uh, Tanji said, look, we, we get some things from our mothers and fathers, biologically, physically. We even have some of their characteristics. Right. Then it comes a time where you start developing who you are. Right. And, and naturally, we see it through the stages of life, puberty and all of that. The teenage natural the physiological aspect. But spiritually, the same thing happens as we grow from new babes and, and get older. We're maturing and developing. That's what we're finding out who we are. And that's why it's, it's, it's very, very important, as the word says, surround yourself with people of like precious faith. You see something in me that is there, but I might not see it to the extent that it needs to be seen. So I should be able to receive, come on, y'all better hear me by the spirit, from my brothers and sisters. Amen. And Mother Carol said, as a child of God. Not as a this, not as a that. I'm a child of God. Hey, can I share something with you? Yeah, come on. You know, it's the right way of doing things. We know that we know that's a correct way even to approach leaders. We know that too. Amen. What I'm saying is we're always growing. We're always growing into what God called us to be. Glory to the Lamb of God. And please don't be like Adam was when I'm not Adam. Excuse me. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, Adam. When he was running from the Lord after he took us back and he was running and he just said, where, where are you? Come on, where are you? Am I my brother? Where'd you, am I my brother's keeper? Tell you that later. But then come on. But the point I'm making is Adam fell out of the position. And that's what this young man just shared to, with us tonight. And so many of us are out of position. But tonight you heard the word. We, he's taught us some things, how we can come back into position. Amen. It doesn't matter what state you're in. God is there with the open, open arms of forgiveness. Glory to the Lamb of God. If you're for real, he wants you to be for real. Amen. He wants to give you a new name. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. But in order to get the new name tonight, come on, don't go off anywhere. Hey, stay right there online. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. But in order to get that new name, you have to be, uh, you have to receive the name. Come on. You have to come in the name of Jesus. Glory. We have to believe in him with our heart, confess it with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, that he rose again. on He died, rose again on the third day, and now is seated at the right hand of God, and that our sins are washed free. We are free from sin. Glory to the Lamb of God. I'm saying it because you are, it's, it's not hard to come to Christ. Amen. People say it's so hard. It is not. Glory. But you have to be sincere. Amen. When he says believe in your heart. Amen. Because the enemy knows when you switch sides, you switch dance partners. Right. When you grab Christ's hand, right. With the bride. Come on. When we grab uh, grab uh, the groom. Amen. The enemy gets upset. So he's going to try you. But this is why, again, we're encouraging you. Amen. To get in a good church. Amen. This is one. This is one. Amen. Temple of Faith Church, 1314 Camden Road, Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is one. Get in a good Bible teaching ministry that believes in God, the Father, God, the Son and God, the Holy Ghost. Yes, I'm going want to say it amen that believes amen that women can can i say it over here amen that women can minister to oh come on that, that everybody is somebody in the lord come on glory to the lamb of god where leaders are not they don't usurp their authority that but they be, use their authority that god's given them to build up the sheep right to build up disciples who we are glory so that you can know 
who God is calling you. Amen. That was just powerful. Amen. So if you are not saved on tonight, glory to the Lamb of God, we do want to welcome you. Amen. To the body of Christ. Now is the time. Amen. We're going to say a short prayer. I've stated it a little bit. Amen. But we want you to look, you can do it. Amen. Some of you may have been just, I don't know what else to do. I don't want you to try Jesus. I want you to come to him. Amen. Because when you try something, it makes it seem like, OK, if it doesn't work, I can let it go. No, I don't need you to try. I need you to come fully. Amen. Every one of us that are in here, we had to do that. We had to do the exact same thing that we're getting ready to do. Amen. And it's not hard. And I want you to know, amen, wherever you are, glory to the Lamb of God. You have some folks that love you, especially here at Temple of Faith, but others all over the world. Amen. We love you. Amen. So if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. We want you to repeat after me. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. If you're ready, come on. If you're tired, amen, of being tired, glory to the Lamb of God. You tried the drugs. You tried the women. You tried the men. Amen. You tried the alcohol. You tried the, the lavish living. You tried to uh, su supplant the love of God with the love of things. Glory to the Lamb of God. But tonight, amen, you heard the word of God through the man of God to say, who are you? So tonight, we want you to know your real name. Glory to the Lamb of God. We want you to know your real name. Amen. So just join in. Let us pray. Glory to the Lamb of God. And if you want to receive Christ in your life, just repeat after me. Father, you know my life. You know I've sinned. You know how I've lived. But tonight, I submit my life to you. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you died, rose again on the third day and is now seated at the right hand of God. And I am now free from my past and I am walking into my newness and I receive my new name tonight in Jesus name. Amen. Come on and give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. Glory, if you have decreed that, hallelujah, you are saved. Amen. Don't don't let somebody think you don't have to roll over the floor, do some back wheels and flop, flaps and whatever you call it, flap jack, back jacks. Amen. If that happens, it's fine. It's fine. But what I'm telling you, we just practical teaching. And bro, uh, uh, Elder B, he spoke it very clear. Look, we just want to talk. And this is what it's about. We want to talk to you about the word of God, because in the talking, we're teaching. That's what Jesus did. We're his disciples. Guess what? We have his name, too. Glory to the Lamb of God. We have his name. So if you've said that, we thank you. You are in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you have been saved, please make sure that you get the information off the website. You send us an email and we will send you some information. We'll send you some a, a booklet. Amen. Electronically. Amen. That if it will share with you some things about now that you're saved. Amen. If you're in an area. Amen. First, we want you to invite you here to Temple of Faith Church, 1314 Camden Road in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Amen. And if you are elsewhere, you don't have a church and you say, hey, we want to be a part and you're not in the state to continue the way that you're doing, reach out to us and let us know. and We'll send you some material as well. God be the glory, but we can send you some information. Amen. Because now that you're in the body of Christ, there are some things that you need to be taught. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. So we give God praise, glory, and honor for that. Amen. That's what it's about, you all. Amen. Thank you so much, sir, again, for that powerful, powerful, powerful lesson. Amen. Knowing who you are. Amen. And before we go, are there any praise reports? Amen. Any Praise God. I just, you know, I I don't like to brag, but hey, it's it's I'm bragging on the Lord. I thank the Lord for Sunday service and the way he just carried us through the service and just the weight of his glory and his presence. And when we were singing hallelujah, it was like his very breath was breathing on us. Hallelujah. So uh uh, possibly, I, I don't know if you remember when you said, um, you know, when the tax come, you know, we have to, we need to be in church because we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that things go on. And so when we left Sun, when we left church Sunday, my cousin called me and um, she said, Tangie, we, we, uh, my, my, my cousin, uh, my oldest cousin of the family, he was like a, a older cousin, um, that the family really depends on. He was he has been di 
he was diagnosed with stage four cancer. But we've been praying ever since we got that report. We were rebuking the um, the report of man and we believe the report of the Lord. So when she called me and said, Tangi, he will not wake up. I said, he will not wake up. She said, no. She said, I need y'all to pray. He will not wake up. So immediately when, when I got off the phone, me and I, I told my husband, we started praying. And then the, 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 uh, the spirit of the Lord told me to call my other cousin, which is um, a pastor. And I said, we need to go there. We need to go. And so um, I called, um, left a message on my job and say, I need to take emergency vacation. Um, this is a life or death situation. I have to use my sick time, but I would love for you to approve my vacation. So they approved my vacation. We went to Norfolk, Virginia. When we walk, walked into the hospital, my cousin looked like death. He was just laying there, eyes closed. They said his eyes hadn't opened since Friday. Um, it was eight doctors, physicians in there beating on him. She said to watch them beat on him to try to wake him up was so devastating to her. We went in there with the presence of the Lord and we started speaking in our heavenly language. Oh my God. And his eyes opened up wide. They, they were sitting there in amazement that his eyes opened tears was flowing my cousin had got a, a a a cloth wet cloth and put it around his lips because his mouth was white and uh, stuff was coming out of it wiped his lips and once he wiped his lips i saw oh that's coals of fire because it was just like a a, a light was shining on him and then and and as we left he was alert he, he was opening and closing his eyes where at first there was no response. And then we, we, and that was yesterday and we came back today and she said that uh, he hadn't ate since uh, Thursday night, but they got a feeding tube in him. He's setting up, his eyes are open. And, and we just know that this is a sign from the Lord that he is in control and, and we do not have to believe the report of man, but we will believe the report of the Lord. So I just thank God for the presence of God that was with me. Hallelujah. Because I was amongst my saints here at 1314 Camden Road here, Temple of Faith, to help build my faith even the more that I can go be on assignment because that's what we were. We were on assignment. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say... Um, my niece, she's been missing. She's in Texas, though. She's been missing for, uh, I think, April 1st was the whole year. So I've been praying about that and asking God to return the prodigal, my prodigal needs. And I write my prayers down because when they get answered, I have a folder where I put these answered prayers in. Okay? When the mother called me and said, guess what? She said she's been found and she's safe. And it, and and. A whole year. Because, see, she's kind of disturbed. You know what I'm saying? That's why. So somebody was using her. You know what I'm saying? And so when immediately when the mother said that, I, of course, I said, to God be the glory. I said, hallelujah. I can put this in the prayer book. And Holy Spirit said, not yet. You need to pray about the renewing of her mind. Add that to the prayer. But when the mother told me, what immediately came to mind was when we were singing that song. Hallelujah. That's exactly what came I said, that's exactly, I said, because we were singing that, that's what broke that. And they were able to find her. That's what the spirit was telling me. Because that was so powerful. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit had to remind me. And I said, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. A whole year. She was safe. Found safe. And I thank you, God. He sent that prodigal. Thank you. Now we're praying for a renewal of the mind. Knew it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory. Now, who wouldn't serve a God like that? Glory. Come on. Who wouldn't? Glory. And that's why we have to tell of the goodness. Amen. We can't keep our mouths closed. And I know as things grow and all of that, but pastors, let me share this as we close. I'm going to bring Elder B back up. Amen. It doesn't matter what level we grow to. If you have to have, because we, we have them and we will have a just a service for a testimony. We coming in. We're gonna have a service, praise, worship, but testimony. Come in. Tell people that are dealing with things. Tell them to come in. They need to hear that is possible. 
Amen. So we can pray and let them know it's possible if they know. Well, tell them, share of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. He tell us not to be ashamed of him. Amen. Because if so, he'll be ashamed of us before the Father. Amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. And before I bring Elder B up, I have a testimony as well. It's relating to Sunday as well. Amen. This is it, a song had been ringing in my heart, and I was I was trying as I was playing the bass. I was trying to remember. I saw it. But it was like he said, put it on pause and, and go to that, that song that we were singing. Amen. Because that's just tapping into the spirit. But at any rate, it came back to me today, Tuesday, yesterday. Amen. And some things just went on yesterday that, that tried to, um, it, situations will try to make you say something that God didn't say. they try to make you speak against what you're believing for. We try to make you say words basically that are anti-faith in nature. Let me cut to the chase. Amen. And try to frustrate you. Amen. So three things, three things happen right behind each other. One, two, and three. In those times, that's when I'm very mindful because we speak life. The right Bible tells our tongues, we speak life and death, right? Amen. So I said, no, I'm very mindful. I don't care what it is. They call it emotional intelligence. It's called putting your your body and, and, and soul under subjection of the spirit. That's all that is. emotional intelligence. News flash is not new. It's not new. It came. Everything come from the Bible. That's not a new theory. Come, it came from the Bible. Amen. But that's a whole nother teaching at any rate. But uh, uh, so I had to con control, bring my spirit under. And that song came back. And it says, even though you don't see it, I'm working. And I may have the words wrong now. Even though you don't feel it, I'm working. I never stop. I never stop working. Oh, what's the name of that? What's, what's, the, what's the chorus part? Anyway, that's, it came back to me from Sunday. And God said, that's why. That was for you. That was for corporate. That was a corporate word. But anyway, I got a word that something got pushed back some more. And I said, no, I, I, it didn't sit right in my spirit. And so I didn't want to call immediately because I was like, I'm in an emotional state and I teach. I practice what I teach. I back off. OK, Lord, let, let me have a cool off period. I teach supervisors in the in the marketplace that don't ever attack a problem when you're emotional like that because it's going to go wrong take some time to step back amen so while i was dealing with that uh uh something else came and i said you know what the devil you are a liar you are a liar we just had this good no 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 and that's what we have to do amen and brother b he said we have to know who we are hold on this does not line up with what god told me because i do the same thing mother I write stuff down. I probably got 20 books that just write stuff down, but I can tell I can find it. Amen. And you date it. Amen. But just writing it down. I said, this does not line up. So I have to watch my words. And I began to speak. And a few times it tried to hit me. And I was saying something that, in essence, agreed with it. I'm going to speak this up. Amen. And I had to shut it down. I was rebuking myself so many times. It was ridiculous. Not in my mind either. I was speaking it out. I didn't care how silly it may have sounded. And I say that because faith comes by what? hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if I'm speaking faith, if I release something that's anti-faith, why would I just think it in my mind? No, I'm going to say it. So I, I've decreed it out of my mouth. I believe it in my heart and my ears are hearing. Now it's, re it's pushing out that anti-faith sentiment and I'm putting faith back in there. It'll make sense in a little bit. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. So my go-to, everybody had a go-to in the world. Like you were talking about that nickname or whatever. What's your name? Drunky B or whatever. whatever. So you know what you did. Right? right. But everybody had a go-to. But when you get in Christ, your go-to should change. Amen. So mine is I like tinkering around with cars. And so I was messing around with a car and my wife and I'm telling you, God spoke it Sunday about if you're single, make sure that you are you are led before you attach yourself to individuals. Amen. Just let me put it there. Seek God and seek wise counsel, get the counseling and all of that stuff. Glory to the Lamb of God. Do your part is what I'm saying. Amen. But I, and in essence, I, what I'm saying is I thank God because she saw that and she said uh, she said some things that God was dealing with her with. He was like, okay, something went on. Talk to him. And I shared with her what was going on and I said, I just can't receive it. I can't receive it. What do you think? Amen. And she said the same thing. I said, OK, this is X, Y and Z. And so I'm doing my thing. And guess what? The phone rang. It was one of these individuals. And I said, right now, I don't have a capacity. I don't have a space to talk. And I said, you know what I said? 
please share that. I said, because right, I'm just being, I, I said, I could not. I'm still decompressing. I'm still doing it. But she articulated exactly what I wanted to. So before then, he had me to call uh, and, and leave a message because they did, didn't pick up. So I left it in a calm voice and I stated exactly what was what was what I wanted, what happened, what should have happened according to God. And I left it alone. Amen. So the second thing that had occurred, it was trying to frustrate me because now it's going on what maybe two and a half weeks. And I said, this is the enemy trying to delay. Say no more delay. -o. No more delay. -o. No more. He's tried to delay some things. I said, you're familiar. You are a created entity called T-I-M-E, time. I have dominion over you. Could not receive it. Nope, this is not what, for this thing, this is not what God said. Amen. So we shut that down and I said, no more. I said, I'm not doing this anymore. I said, God, whatever you have for me, you have for me. But right now I'm drawing the line. Amen. I'm getting firm in my word. This is what I want. This is what you said. I'm standing on it. Amen. A few hours later, the turnaround started. Come on, because like he said, God heard his son's name, my real name with God. He heard me cry out to him. He heard that agree agreement with my spouse. And the word says, when we come together, if I treat her right, right? He said, none of our prayers are going to be hindered. Glory to the Lamb of God. So that night, last night, I got an email and it said, well, if you can't do this, can you at least do that? I said, that's what I'm talking about right now. And I, and I don't usually check it that late. But the spirit said, and then this morning, glory to the Lamb of God, just to let you know, the thing that I was looking for, it was hidden. I know where I keep things at all the time. Amen. And it wasn't in the house. And I woke up and I was going to do some things. The Lord said, come to Temple of Faith. I was like, what do I need to come to Temple of Faith for? This morning, he said, just go. You're going to find what you want. I was like, no way. And she looked and she was like, well, he said, go, go. Amen. So I came and I went and looked in, in the annex. What I was found, listen, you all, this is supernatural, and this is God is my witness. I'm glad I'm amongst a much, bunch of believers. Amen. What I had, I know for a fact it had never hit this church. It's never been brought to this church, period, period. Could not find it, and they needed this They needed this particular document. I could not, but I knew it had never hit here. It's, per, it's personal, not church-related. Amen. And so... I was going to look at home and the spirit said, nope, go, go again. Again, singing this song all the way. I said, well, it's in my spirit. You're still working. I'm following you. I'm just going to obey. And I went over there and I looked here and I, hallelujah. And I looked in another place and something came out my mouth that again was anti, hear what I'm saying? It was an emotional thing, emotional statement. And I put it down. I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I, I, you have to shut yourself down. Be honest with yourself. Come on. I said, God, forgive me. I said, because that is not of you. That is not. I'm standing in faith. As soon as I said it, hear this. Here's to qualify with that. When God said, when we say God knows our heart, you best believe he does. He knows when you're telling the truth and when you're for real and when you're ready. Amen. But as soon as I said it, he said, now look over here. And I looked over here. I was like, what? He said, just look over here. So I looked through the outreach notebook. I looked through uh, uh, some other stuff. And then at the bottom was a package that I had bought for school years ago with some, some holders and things in it. And at the bottom of this package was this, the same, it was one left in there, basically. I had several, one left. And I was like, I know that's not it because this is a new package that's been here for years. I know it's not in Open it up. Guess what was inside of it? What I needed. What I needed. It had never hit. It's never been in this church. Never. The Lord spoke and he said, I said, I put an angel to hallelujah to put it in there. I just wanted to say I, you needed to be. I'm teaching obedience on a whole nother level. Whole nother level. I could have said, I don't feel like going. Come on. I'm, I'm going tonight. I'll check tonight. He didn't say that. He says, get your happy self. You go down there and do what I said. Amen. So I'm telling you that if I, if I responded in flesh, none of that would have happened. I really believe that. I believe as we, hallelujah, just as he told, amen, he told the, um, the priest, where the, in the Bible, let me put it like this and shut up so we can get out of here. Amen. But just as the, the Bible says, when they went, the leper, they were healed as they went. So I believe as I went, hallelujah, 
the fabric papers were getting formed. The ink was getting drawn on this thing because when I found it, it looked brand new. It looked like it was just printed. But guess what? This thing is 15, 16 years old. So I know it wasn't. And God spoke to her the same thing. I did this thing. This was supernatural. It wasn't you never took it to the church, but I was bringing you there to let you know the kingdom is in you. I got to let you know who you are. Come on. Glory to the Lamb of God. And when you don't know, you just say hallelujah. (laughs) Glory to the Lamb of God. Come on and give God stand to your feet. Amen. We're going to ask Brother B to close us out. But I have to share those things like that because to somebody it sounds crazy, you all. I don't care. Call me whatever you want. I produce results. I'm like the sister right here. I'm not bragging and boast. You produce results. You do. We all do. As a child of God, when you know your name, glory to the Lamb of God, when you know who you are and whose you are. So I had to share that, amen, because I'm letting you know, please just be mindful, be very mindful, amen, of what you say and how you say. Glory to the Lamb of God. If you don't know what to say, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Study to be quiet and just go on and mm-hmm. come on, moan, right? The Bible says, look, there's moanings and groanings. Hallelujah. But the Holy Spirit will understand what they are. Glory to the Lamb of God. So I want you to know when that word says, with God, all things are possible, he means it. But if you believe it, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for such a powerful meeting tonight, Lord. We thank you now for, for giving us insight, Lord, on that, that the kingdom is within us tonight, Father. Father, we thank you now as we leave this place, we're never leaving your presence, Father, that we continue to search those things out which calls calls us to be royal, Lord God. Father, we thank you now for the word that went before your children tonight, Father. May each and every person that received this tonight, Father, they, they, may they remain ignited, Father, for you, Lord God. We thank you now, Father, as we travel home and we find our homes where we left it, Father, safe and intact. We thank you now for blocking any plot or plan of an accident, demon, Father, or no mechanical failure should come near our dwelling, Lord God. Father, until we meet again, may, may we continue to do things that are seen well and pleasing in your eyes, Lord God. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.